I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. Oh no, don't look at me. Don't look at me with that those eyes of betrayal. What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! Oh my goodness, you guys. Before I say my intro, I just have to announce that this happened to my title screen. I didn't see this before, and it's so cute. Just look at the sleepy Ochi. Look at the Pikmin. Oh my gosh. Come on. Ah! <laughs> okay. Well, apparently, before we are allowed to get right to it, I need to get <laughs> back through curing Molly again. Oh dear god. Kinda odd that the game doesn't save when you cure a leafling. Huh. Well, the more you know, I guess. What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scaletree, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. Today we've got a couple of campsite things that I need to take care of. I realized that I forgot to share the tips and tricks that I got recently with you all. And uh, I'm really sorry about that. It had been a few weeks. And when I saw it in recording, I was just like, oh man, really? Did I not leave a spark to do that? So I'm going to do that right now as my Pikmin, my Ice Pikmin, go ahead and gather up some more buddies for the cause. There you go. There was no way I was going to be able to read them all out loud in this episode. I knew that that would just take an eternity. I think I'm going to essentially make it kind of like that moving forward, where I play a little bit of music, showcase all of the advice that I got, and if there's a specific piece of advice I want to mention at any point, I might throw it up on screen so that people can get the proper accreditation for those moments. Anyway, before we get to more heroes hideaway, and probably the cave that we found, the doppelganger's den. I have a couple of camp things to do. I don't believe there's anybody I need to talk to besides maybe Molly. Yeah, she's right over here, so let's go visit her first. Hello, ma'am. I watched you get cured twice. Y you know, maybe if we could just walk and talk, how about that? <laughs> let's not push me across the world like Chewie did. Who? Thanks a billion for rescuing me. I'm Molly. So check it out. I hopped aboard this tour to get fresh content for my videos, but then I dropped my camera. Yikes, right? I got turned into a leafling, but what does it even matter since I couldn't film it? I mean, did it even really happen? Uh, what's with the face? Did I say something weird? A little bit, but it's okay. We're both weirdos here. You wanna know about me? I'm a super amazing streamer. I really pop on the screen, you know? Hey, what's with the look? I pop like bubbles and I'm not afraid to say it, okay? <laughs> okay, I guess you don't do anything fancy, which is a shame. I really could use the streaming advice. Although, then again, I'm not sure if you would be the correct person to go to for streaming advice. Sorry. <laughs> Good thing she probably didn't hear me. Anyway, with that out of the way, I need to give Ochi pluck. And honestly, it's been a long time. I want to say hi, Captain Shepard. You got any cool tidbits? Let's chat. Bernard is an excellent pilot, and yet even with him at the helm, we crashed. The cause is still a mystery, but I can't help thinking something drew us here. If there's anything you don't understand or want to know, just ask away. Hmm. Okay, so it's basically story stuff, which I understand. My impression is that Bernard had a near-flawless pilot record prior to PNF 404. So in that way, he's kind of like Olimar, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I specifically want to give Ochi pluck so that I can have him, you know, even at a low rank, 
be able to assist me with this kind of thing in Dandori challenges and battles, where the timing is <laughs> critical. And also, I might be able to send him back to camp to pluck stray sprouts if that happens to be a thing. I find that normally I don't really have to deal with that unless I truly lose a lot of Pikmin, but... You know, we're getting towards the end of the first slice of the game, and I'm not going to pretend like I'm not going to lose a ton of Pikmin, so let's go! What a good boy. And obviously he gets a scrummy bone because he's a wonderful lad. Anyway, next up, we need to make a little pit stop. <laughs> hey, Aras. I desperately need to start stacking up the resistances on my boy here. Now, I did notice that Doppelganger's Den has this sticky mold in it. And these boots cost a bloody fortune. So I think I'd rather, you know, get a resistance that would actually help. So... Anti-Electrifier is tempting because the area requires the use of Yellow Pikmin, Hero's Hideaway. But the cave probably has White Pikmin as a required type. I noticed that in passing when I was editing. I was just like, oh wait, I think that's a White Candy Pop Bud. So I'm going to go with the Sniff Saver. If this is a bad idea, then oh well. <laughs> At least it will help yeah. for later. I did get some advice saying that I should go ahead and grind for materials off screen to help get all of the Ochi resists, and maybe I will, but today's not that day. I only have so much time, and I really want to yeah. keep exploring. Do you know where you're going next? It's time to rescue Captain Olimar. Uh, not according to my poll, it's not. I can't believe I didn't mention it before. <laughs> you guys are so cruel. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. In all seriousness, I completely understand where you're coming from. It sounds like Captain Olimar forces the credits and begins the post-game. So I kind of want to keep that as separate in my Let's Play as possible to help with people who may also be playing blind or playing along with me. So, yeah. Real quick, let's chat first, Colin. Once you become a leafling, it seems like the only thing you think about is the art of Dan Dory. Maybe they're being controlled to think and act that way. Perhaps against their will. I am ready for action, and you know what? I teased way back in my Thoughts on Pikmin 4 so far video that I have a theory about leaflings, and I think that that just added a little something to the pot. So that's really exciting. Anyway, enough talk. Let's explore. We've got so much to do and so little time. Hero's Hideaway, let's go. Goodbye, everybody! Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's still so delightful. I like seeing them hop around and wave. The rescue corps doing their, uh, not quite salute, but their chest thump. Their copy that chest thump. That's a really dumb name for it. If you guys have a better name for it, let me know in the comments. Question of the day, what do you call the sign of respect that the Rescue Corps likes to give us? We just land and we're surrounded by amp rat corpses. This is a great start to our day. Hale. Oh, wait, sorry, what was that, Colin? Olimar's family must be so worried. Ugh, like you wouldn't believe, buddy. This man has been through so much. Another piece of advice that I got pretty commonly, actually, was to try to bum-rush Moss at the beginning of the day so that she would be less of a pain for later. Whoop! Okay, not quite a bum-rush, but, ugh. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's freeze. All right, rocks! <laughs> we are gonna take you out, little miss. Oh my god, where is she going? What is that waddle she's doing? Ma'am, ma'am? 
Aha, a, a, a. <laughs> what in the world was that waddle? I mean, <laughs> happy to see that she's so eager, I suppose, but good lord. Everybody, come back! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was extremely funny. I'm trying to think about where best to go. I know that I want to get into this cave by the end of the day, but I feel like I might as well take care of some stuff while Moss is down and out. It looked like there was something over here. Um here, actually. Let's try to stay consolidated on Ochi's back. Alright. I see the egg and a rope. Oh! Uh, I mean, thank you. What was, what was the rope thing about? Is this something I need to... Well, that's a great piece of sound design, the little thumping of the rocks on the metal. Ooh, there's another one of those salamander things. Actually, two of those salamander things. Let's go ahead and kill them before they lay eggs. Uh-oh. And it looks like these gold bits have individual health bars? Weird. I don't know what to think about that. Hey, Ochi, come back. <laughs> ah? Okay. We may as well at least get this started. So, yellows! Onward, gentlemen. Let's keep moving, ladies. I believe that there is stuff that we need to get up here. I did see another comment saying that I accidentally screwed myself over in regards to a certain night mission. Where, supposedly, I shouldn't have knocked down this. I thought when they said not to break down a wall, because that's, that's what I thought the comment said, is don't break down a wall. I thought it meant, like, an electric gate or something. Oh dear. Uh, I don't want to fight you right now. No, 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 no. Bye! We'll get to them eventually, too. I imagine they probably have... a good amount of treasure in them. Okay. Hey, Ochi? I would like you to go and gather up my Pikmin for me. Ice Pikmin. Rocks. Very good, very good. I feel like this is a terrible idea. But I'm kind of curious to see if I can get this treasure with my current ensemble. Something tells me I can't because I don't think Rock Pikmin claim. But only one way to find out. Oh! Never mind. Let's go, lads. Hey, Ochi! Thank you for gathering up all my babies. Well, most of my babies. <laughs> Alright. I'd say so far today is going pretty well. I'm trying to think what this wire could possibly be. But right now, I admittedly want to focus on this area right around here, since I am going to be dropping into this cave. So far, though, I will say I'm feeling very comfortable. I'm sure I can leave those rock Pikmin to it for the time being. I am keeping an eye on Moss's health bar. It seems like she really doesn't regenerate all that fast. It takes her out pretty much at least for half the day, which is wild. Sorry, still not fighting you. I don't want to do that without a full squad. We're gonna just chill for a minute. And while we hopefully float on over to where I can get that calculator, I see. I want to 
wanted to ask you guys how your day has been. Mine has been pretty cold, gloomy, in a good way though. Uh, all of the leaves are changing color over here and it's just so pretty. I'm thrilled that we're going to get snow probably in the next month or two. So at risk of sounding kind of ridiculous, I got a wild hair up my butt while I was out one day and began writing a Pikmin fanfiction. I'm not gonna plug it anywhere because right now I'm too busy recovering from the fact that I am indeed doing this. <laughs> but if I end up posting it, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Because something tells me I'm not sure if any of you guys would actually want to read it. <laughs> because I'm, as I'm sure many of you have <laughs> noticed, if not on the actual video, then some of the folks who talk to me over Discord or Tumblr, which, uh, you know what, I can plug in my Tumblr. I don't post a lot, but I'm Scale Tree there too, if you want to follow me. I reblog a bunch of Pikmin content quite a bit. Hmm. You know, I feel uncomfortable, actually. Ochi? I feel very uncomfortable having my stray Pikmin loose. Can you please go ahead and gather them while I... figure out what to do back here? Looks like it's fairly straightforward. Can I read that game? Huh. Oh! Oh, crap! Scuttlechuck! <laughs> oh man, that scared me. Yes, yes, my little minions, go. Go, be free. Get all the stuff done. And duly noted that I can just go under here next time. I thought I had to, like, do some weird up and around stuff. Anything over here? Oh! Well, that's always nice. It's good to see honey wisps around. And it's good to gather some more spicy sprays, which probably I should be using. Especially since, oh my god, moss is gonna... Ooh. Ugh. Do I have idle... Ugh. Idle Pikmin, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go anywhere with Moss doing her thing. There's something in here. Oh boy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I still don't know what these things do. They seem pretty slow moving and chill as enemies go. But they are very cute. Anyway, the Pikmin fanfiction I wrote, I need to- I have a confession to make. This is like top 10 anime betrayals kind of confession. It's a fic that ships Yanni with someone other than Kip Kip. <laughs> it's a different member of the Rescue Corps. <laughs> Kip Kip, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. Oh no, don't look at me. Don't look at me with that- those eyes of betrayal. Also, I think Moss just woke up. Oh well. Huh. I guess let's go into this warp pipe. Ooh. Let's see what's up here. Hi. That looks like some yellow Pikmin stuff. Hmm. Or not. Or I have to go around from this direction to wherever is going on over here. Hmm. In order to get the treasure right here. I think that's what's happening. And the warp pipe is a convenient way for me to otherwise access it. Hmm. Welp. I think... Oh, shoot. Actually, looking at the time, we really gotta get going into that cave. I need to get in there before hurry up, because I think otherwise the game won't let me. 
I'm more than happy to pop out at countdown. Moss is on the other side of the map, so I'm not worried about her. Ooh, let's get started, everybody. Are you hyped for the first cave in the new area? I know I am. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I already did the look over here. Like I said, I'm almost certain that we're going to have Ice Pikmin and White Pikmin as our little buddies in here. I mean, look at that. That's Poison Hazard, for Christ's sake. And we've got more of those little salamanders. Whew. Okay. It's kind of late over here. I want to see how far I can get through this cave before I have to dip and make myself dinner. This is gonna be a Louis-themed speedrun. <laughs> can I beat this before my desire to eat overcomes everything? Let's do it. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's fun. Blue Pikmin, Ice Pikmin, and White Pikmin. This is giving me some Sub-Zero sauna flashbacks. Huh. Oh, you know what? Duh. Duh, Blue Pikmin are involved. There was a pool in there. I'm so silly, guys. <laughs> I noticed, like, the minutiae of the white Pikmin flower, but not the giant pool of water. I feel like that embodies me in a nutshell. I have practically this running joke where my perception has, like, the highest negative modifier it can possibly have <laughs> because I am really, really genuinely awful at finding stuff even if it's right in front of me. It's actually kind of absurd. I'm the sort of person who will be talking with you on the phone and then be like, you know, with it to my ear, I'll be like, oh, hang on, guys. I I I've misplaced my phone. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> and if that's not embarrassing, I don't know what is. Okay, well, we've got a couple of buds that could use this nectar. And I think while I work on whatever is behind this jelly, I'm going to let those guys dig. I'll tack on the white Pikmin here. Oh! Hello, new friends! <sighs> I'm trying to Dandori a little bit better, even though it's late and I'm just... I'm, a, I'm such a morning person. I think I said that in episode 9. Wait. I don't remember telling you guys to stop. Ugh, oh my goodness. Well, my brain just doesn't work better late. Honestly, that might make it more fun. A little bit more of a challenge than usual. One warp pipe later. Ooh, that gurgling noise is moist. I don't know how I feel about that. Water geyser. Or, oh no, bubble geyser. Ugh. No, 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 no. Ice Pikmin time. Ice Pikmin. Ice Pikmin. I was told that these guys are actually the best to deal with those bubbles, which I wouldn't have anticipated, but hey! Good to know! Oh my god. Wow. Well, <laughs> the little golden salamander got annihilated before I even really realized what was happening. Gotta love that. Actually, hey, you guys want to freeze this for me? Oh no, never mind, never mind. I. <laughs> you know, these guys go down in one hit. What am I doing? I'm so silly, everyone. I'm, I gotta say, though, because I didn't comment on it already, this is a very, very cute design for a cave. It's not the internals I would have expected from a cave that is supposedly inside of a TV stand. But that said, I'm not complaining about it. You know? It's interesting. It, it gives me the vibes of Pikmin 2's shower room 
but it's a whole lot brighter and cheerier. Makes me feel like the intention of this cave might have been to once be in like a bathroom or maybe even in the kitchen. I'm not, I'm still not totally sure why they would put it where they did, but whatever. I'm just enjoying the fact that I have caves to begin with. Okay. It's disband time. Which I think I'm getting better at, thank goodness. Oop. Uh, that's not what I wanted you to go after, but okay. No, 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 no. You are best fought from behind. And that wasn't behind, but... <laughs> whatever! No, Ochi. Ochi, if you need to carry something... <laughs> please don't eat the raw materials. I, I beg of you. Ah. Okay. So either I need Ochi to get that, or... Wait. What was the noise the white Pikmin made? Hang on. White Pikmin? Oh my god! They sound so cute! Oh, that's adorable! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was unbelievably precious in a way I did not anticipate. I mean, I love all Pikmin noises. I like that they gave most Pikmin types unique voices in this game. I think that's extremely cute. I'm kind of surprised that the classic Pikmin sounds are not among them. I did notice that they changed it up a little bit for reds, blues, and yellows. But... Again, I'm not really complaining about it. It's just interesting. Okay. I think I'm going to do one more sub-level, and then I'm going to end this episode. Okay. Doppelganger's Den, sub-level two. Just looking at it here, it's interesting that there is a button right off the rip. It makes me think that there's going to be some kind of mechanism that should be messed with multiple times throughout the level. <gasps> ah, yes. Okay, so that's exactly what I thought. So I think what I'm going to do is get off of Ochi and switch to him. So, unless I need him, I'm going to let Kip Kip go it alone. Take care of this little fella. Come on, little guy. Nice try. We can pluck up all of these new friends, which we love to see. Ah, yes, I remember you. I think I can beat you pretty easily from the back. Yes. With white Pikmin. I know that I have to charge them with other types. But it's good to see that white Pikmin... Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> you ass! I don't know who I was calling an ass right there, but... Let's go ahead, gather up these corpses. I think I didn't actually gather all the corpses in the last sub-level, which... Ugh, Dandori issue. I like gathering up corpses. That was my bad. I'm so sorry, everybody. Ugh. Oh well, I guess we don't technically need the Sparklium anymore. It's just nice to have- Oh, ugh, no, 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 no! Ah, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> This is- this is not what I wanted. Oh boy. Look at these ice Pikmin. <laughs> they really are trying to jamboree up back here. 50. I think maybe Ochi changing the gates would be a good idea right here. Yeah. 
Uh oh, the Pikmin are having trouble. Uh, what do you mean the Pikmin are having trouble? Oh. Okay, so I do need to have the red gates down for this. Also, I'm gonna toss all of the Pikmin I inadvertently called back to me. So that I can keep trying to hit my pack when I want to switch. Hold on a second. There! Those are the settings I wanted. <laughs> okay. Well, that gives me the pile of nuggets, which we always like. We love to have those. Let's get the ice Pikmin. And... I do want my blue Pikmin back so that I can beat this guy and collect his remains. You know, for the cause. At this point, it is kind of the equivalent of just capitalism. This fish is minding its own business. I think I can go in without the non-water resistant Pikmin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I toss one of you. Oh, no, that's not what I... There, okay. Thank you, friends. I still say this cave is going pretty well, but it looks like I'm gonna need Ochi to get over there, unless... Unless I can get over there through this blue gate. Fantastic. And, yeah, might as well collect all of my babies. Where are... <laughs> Where were all of you? <laughs> oh, dear. You know, going through my videos and editing... I feel like a lethal drinking game would be to take a shot every time I say, oh no, oh dear, or something of that ilk. Because I do say that, in fact, all the time. Huh. Hmm. Well, without Ochi, I won't be able to do the shortcut, but I do want to get as many white Pikmin as possible, so I may as well just deal with it. At least in this game, you can pluck Pikmin before the sprouts even grow. So that's pretty nice. Anything left? Ah, looks like there's a kind of warp pipe over here. And where do you go? Oof, that gurgling noise. Ah! You go so that this treasure can be contained. Or obtained. Pardon. And I think with that, switching to Ochi and getting those red gates taken care of. I can't, I'm so sorry I keep opening up my pack. <laughs> I was just starting to get used to the old controls, and then I switched to new controls, and now I'm just out of control. <gasps> Collect 150 treasures! Woohoo! Okay. So that means we can go ahead and see Schnauts pretty soon. I'm gonna hop on top of Ochi if the game will let me. Thank you. Ah, I see. Okay. So I need to find a way back there while keeping the red gates down. And I think I can do that by just jumping. No? Huh. <gasps> oh! Oh, 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 okay. Idea. So... I'm gonna go down here and I am going to... switch to Ochi then switch back to Kip Kip. 
and have her disband oh, and, you know, do everything wrong all at once. We love to see it. Disband. 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 <laughs> Good grief. I think she needs like a small set of Pikmin to handle this. Oy vey. I'm so bad at these controls after so long. <sighs> Such is the pain. Just, yeah, end of sentence. Such is the pain. <laughs> now I can jump up here and I can have Kip Kip toss that. The power of teamwork is ever compelling. And using white Pikmin, these guys are no match. Perfect. And so I think unless there's something I'm missing, we should be done. So I can go to Kip Kip and ask her to command Ochi to pick up a scent. Follow the scent, Ochi! Alright. <gasps> oh! Oh, there's a castaway here somewhere. Hello? Wait a minute. Okay. So... Oh! Interesting. It's doing the thing where it wants me to go to the next floor. Okay. So actually, you know what? Ochi has a point. <laughs> There's nothing left to collect on this floor, so let's just dive down deeper. And I think with that, I'm going to end off today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me, as always. In the next episode, we are going to dive down into sub-level 3 of the Doppelganger's Den. And I hope to see you all there. Take care, everyone. Bye bye <laughs>